Hi friends, we have used the HB count, RBC count to diagnose anemia. But we should know that anemia is only a general diagnosis. In order to, in order to get a specific diagnosis, we should use some more tests which is already present in the complete blood count. That is a red blood cell indices. The red blood cell indices of the CBC consists of the RBC count, HB count, PCV or the HCT and then the MCV, MCH and MCHC. We can discuss about each in detail. Okay. First of all the RBC count. We know that the RBC it is a major component of the blood and it constitutes about 4 to 5.5 million per millimeter cube. And in males it is slightly higher that is a 5 million and in females it is 4.5 million per millimeter cube. There are some physiological variations I have already told in females in the reproductive age it is slightly lower and also at birth it is about 8 to 10 millions per millimeter cube in the infants. Okay, And in high altitude we know that the hypoxia it is a major stimulant for the erythropoiesis or the red blood cell production. In the high altitude there will be hypoxia and it will result in the increase in the RBC count in the blood and also due to, during severe muscular exercise and all there will be increase in the RBC production due to the hypoxia. Now some physiological variations in which the RBC count decreases that is in the deep sea and all due to the increased barometric pressure due to the increased oxygen tension there will be decrease in the RBC count and also in pregnancy due to the increase in the plasma value there will be relative reduction of the RBC count. These are all some of the physiological variations. Now coming to the pathological variations. We know pathologically RBC is raised in a condition called the polycythemia. It is actually raised about 7 million per millimeter cube. It is also raised in some certain congenital heart diseases. In congenital heart diseases there will be hypoxia and reduced supply of uh, oxygen to the tissues and so there will be uh, increased RBC production and also in COPD. In COPD and all there will be decreased oxygen supply to the tissues and which will stimulate the RBC production. Okay. Now coming to the pathological variation in which the RBC count decreases that is anemia. Anemia includes the aplastic anemia. A plastic anemia is actually a misnomer. It includes the reduction in the cells, all the cells of the myeloid series of the bone marrow and also in iron deficiency anemia and in pernicious anemia. In all these conditions there will be pathological decrease in the uh, RBC and also in chronic renal failure. In chronic renal failure what is happening? Actually the erythropoietin which is a hormone produced from the kidney is actually involved in the erythropoiesis that is a production of RBC. In chronic renal failure this erythropoietin production will be decreased and so erythropoiesis will also be decreased. Okay. Next coming to the HB count. We know that the HB it is a pigment that imparts a red color to the red blood cell and it is actually having the function of transporting the oxygen molecules to the tissues. It is having a normal range of 14 to 16 gram per deciliter and at birth it constitute about 25 gram per deciliter and by the third month of life it will be about 20 gram per deciliter and by one year of life it will be about 17 gram per deciliter and by the puberty it will be about 14 to 16 gram per deciliter and in females it will be slightly lower that is a 12 to 15 gram per deciliter these are all the normal values of the HB count okay now coming to the packed cell volume or the hematocrit value we know that the blood con contains certain components like the WBC, RBC, platelets and also the plasma. When it is allowed to stand in a vertical hematocrit tube, the RBCs will be packed down at the bottom of the tube. This packed cell volume or the packed red blood cell volume is called the PCV or the hematocrit value. And above this PCV there will be a white buffy coat which constitutes the WBC as well as the platelets. And above this buffy coat there will be the plasma. Okay. So this PCV will be having a normal range in no, normal range about 40 to 45 percentage in males and in females it will be about 38 to 42 percentage and pathologically it will be increased when we know that when the RBC count increases this factor cell volume increases and so in polycythemia PCV will be increased 
and also when the above the plasma level decreases the plasma level decreases the pcv count will be increased the conditions in which plasma level decreases that is a dehydration also the dengue shock syndrome in dengue shock syndrome why the why the pcv is increasing in dengue shock syndrome and all uh, the shock resulting from burns there will be increased capillary le leakage of the plasma and so there will be increase in the rbc count okay now the conditions in which the pcv count will be decrease that is a anemia in anemia uh, rbc count will be decrease so pcv count will be automatically decrease and in pregnancy there will be relative reduction of the rbc and in cirrhosis there is there is increased plasma due to the decrease in the albumin and so there will be decrease in the pcv also okay so these three that is a hb rbc count pcv will help us to uh get a diagnosis that is if the patient is having anemia we can get a clue that he is having anemia but we don't get a specific diagnosis in order to get a specific diagnosis from these three tests we derive another three tests that is a mcv mch and mchc okay first of all mcv mcv is a mean corpuscular volume or it is a average volume of a single rbc we can get the mcv by dividing the total volume of rbc by the total number of rbc that is a hematocrit volume divided by the rbc count and it is normally 80 to 100 femtoliter if it is below 80 it is if it is in the normal range it is called the normocytic and if it is below 80 it is called the microcytic microcytic anemia it is microcytic anemia we know it is usually seen in the uh, iron deficiency anemia thalassemia and anemia of chronic disease in usually in anemia of chronic disease it is normocytic anemia but in certain chronic conditions like the rheumatoid arthritis and tb and all there will be microcytic anemia and also in hemolytic anemia there will be uh, decrease in the size that is the mcv and microcytosis will be the result and if the value is above 100 it is called a macrocytosis and it is usually seen in the megaloblastic anemia that is a blastic stage of the rbcs will be much increase in the blood and this condition is commonly seen in the vitamin b12 deficiency or the folate deficiency in both these conditions there will be macrocytosis okay next we will move on to the mch or mean corpuscular hemoglobin it is a concentration of hemoglobin present in a single red cell and we can get it by dividing the hb count divided by the number of rbc that is a hb value divided by rbc count and it is usually ranging from 27 to 32 picogram okay and if it is de decrease it is actually decrease in certain conditions we all know that sideroblastic anemia in sideroblastic anemia there will be decrease in the hemoglobin concentration and also in lead poisoning and all and the iron deficiency anemia and anemia of chronic disease and thalassemia in all these conditions sideroblastic anemia and deficiency anemia anemia of chronic disease and thalassemia this hemoglobin concentration will be decrease and it will be increased in certain conditions that is a folate deficiency and the vitamin b12 deficiency i have already told the blastic stage of the rbc will be increased in the blastic stage there will be increased concentration of the rbc in the blood cell and so mch will be increased and also in alcoholism chronic alcoholism and all chronic alcoholism is actually resulting in the folate deficiency or the vitamin b12 deficiency which will be leading to the increased mch in the blood okay next coming to the mchc or the mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration it is almost similar to the mch but it is more significant than the mch because mch deals with only a single rbc but if you want to know the concentration of hemoglobin present in a unit volume of red cell it is a mchc is the best one and it is most used mostly uh, better than the mch okay and it is uh, calculated by dividing the hb count divided by the hct or the hematocrit value and it is usually ranging from 33 to 36 percentage and if it is normal it is called a normochromic normochromic anemia and if it is below the 33 percentage it is called a hypochromic anemia and if it is above 36 percentage it is called hyperchromic anemia hyperchromic anemia it is very rare actually it is usually seen in uh, hereditary spherocytosis or sickle cell anemia where the shape of the rbcs are uh, 
uh, deformed the hyperchromic anemia will be resulting and also in hemolysis there will be increased destruction of rbc and here also there will be hyperchromic or the increased concentration of hemoglobin in unit volume of blood and the hypochromic anemia it is more common that is a ida and deficiency anemia anemia of chronic diseases and the thalassemia in all these conditions there will be hypochromic anemia okay so from all these three tests we get a more specific diagnosis of the uh, anemia and if we need to further get the correct diagnosis to confirm the diagnosis we will have to do a peripheral blood smear okay next we will deal with the red cell distribution width this is a least commonly used test uh, to diagnosis anemia, diagnose anemia and it is the study of the variation in the size or the volume of the rbcs present in the blood or, or it is the measure of the anisocytosis aniso, aniso present in the blood okay we know the volume of or the size of the rbc is 7.2 micron and the volume we have already studied that is 80 to 105 femtoliter in some conditions there will be variations in large variations present in the size or the volume of the blood the normal allowed variation in a unit volume of blood is 11.5 to 14.5 percentage that is a normal value of the rdw if the rdw is more it indicates it is significant and it indicates some nutritional anemia for example in iron deficiency anemia in iron deficiency anemia in the beginning there will be normocytic cells in the blood but after a one month or two months there will be microcytic cells uh, beginning to appear in the blood and when we uh, measure the blood at that time there will be different sizes of the rbcs in that unit volume of blood and this is called the rdw elevated okay and also in megaloblastic anemia also there will be it's also a nutritional anemia and there will be increase in the anisocytosis but when we come to the inherited anemia like the thalassemia in the thalassemia and all from the birth itself there will be microcytic anemia present in the blood and so there will not be any variation in the rdw that is about the red blood cell indices okay thank you